Hi everybody, this is another lesson from Mrs. John explaining the hydrogen electron energy levels and spectral lines, why they are discrete and why every series has a series of lines but they are quite different to another series. Okay, so in the last lesson we looked at the Bohr model of the atom and we learned that the energy of an electron is given by negative CHR over N squared where n is the quantum level, see that? So n is the energy of the quantum level, and it's given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and it can go on to infinity. Now, the value for c, c is the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. h is Planck's constant, which is 6.626 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joules second and r is called Rydberg's constant which is 1.097 times 10 to the power of 7 per meter and n is the quantum number. Now all these are negative values so when you put all these numbers and calculate the energy of the electron in that ground state this level one is also called the ground state that's what's closest to the nucleus and it's negative you get a number like negative 2.18 times 10 to the power of negative 18 joules okay and then if you put the same thing the 2.18 times 10 to the power of negative 18 joules and you divide it by 4 why 4 because 2 squared is 4 and the number that you get is negative 0 0.55 times 10 to the power of negative 18 joules can you see these numbers are getting closer and closer to zero and where n is equal to 3 you get negative 0 0.24 times 10 to the power of negative 18 joules and so on and it gets closer and closer okay and for n is equal to 4 you get 0 0.14 negative 0 0.14 times 10 to the power of negative 18 joules okay so now the thing is if you look at these lines so if you drew it to scale you'll find that this gap between 1 and 2 is actually much bigger than the biggest gap from infinity to 2 and the gap between 3 and 2 the shortest gap over here, the the shortest fall or the jump is much bigger than the biggest gap from higher to level three. So all drops to n is equal to one, from no matter what level it is, they all are in the ultraviolet part of the spectrum, and this is the Lyman series, okay? Now all drops to n equals two, so they give out photon of energy, which is equal to E equals HF, and they all come to the ultraviolet. Now for n equals 2, this is what Barma saw and this is all in the visible part of the spectrum and this is the Barma series and the passion series is all drops to n equals 3 strong and this is in the infrared part of the spectrum. The important thing is that the shortest jump from one level to level 1 so from 2 to 1 is much bigger than the biggest jump from infinity to level 2 and again the shortest level from 3 to 2 is much bigger than from infinity to 3 to 1 and that is why every series is quite distinct all right and I hope that made sense bye for now